He's just had his hair cut and he's, had a, he's gone for a massage for himself. So yeah, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the main strip in Darwin. This is like where everything happens. Um, we have shenanigans, Bob, the Croc Cove, um, where you can go and see Crocs. Um, we've got Coles, like lots of different restaurants and stuff like that. But um, yeah, Martin is off living his best life while I'm in the car. I mean, I could have got a massage, but I decided not to because I don't know. I'd rather spend my money elsewhere. <laughs> and we're heading off to the Mindel Beach uh, Sunset Market. So that'll be interesting. I can't wait to show you guys that. Um, I've never been to it before, so I'll see you there. But there is a big ship ready to pass, it's right in front of it. So, what's going to happen first? <laughs> that would be our luck that the ship would block. <laughs> our view. Yeah, it's been an incredible day off. Like, yeah. my god, like the sunsets here in the Northern Territory are just something, something else. else. Yeah. Like, they really are. We absolutely, it's just solidified for us how happy we are that we're in Australia. And I know that's like, something that we always say but it's still it's, this is our life this is it yeah <laughs>
So just walking up to the post office, which is about a three minute walk from uh, where we live. It's very hot, so it feels like it's, it's torture. <laughs> um, I have a parcel to collect and I'm finished for the day. So I said, why not go up and collect it? <laughs> bigger than I expected and now to carry it all the way back to my room I'm just being really dramatic I mean it's hot but I've experienced hotter weather <laughs> and here comes the boss afternoon Tim <laughs> yeah. so I'm just going to show you around where we stay and where we live and what Adelaide River looks like I just love the greenery here it's amazing Got all these lovely palm trees. And then over there we've got the bar and the service station. And just across this way, we have the cabin units. Uh, people are out enjoying their meals. And then, you come over to the budget rooms where we stay. And then here's one of our local residents. Say hi, Barry. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? Good. And this is where we live, number 14. Let's get this package opened. Okay, so I'm expecting like waterproof phone cases and this is not what I got. <laughs> So today we are headed to uh, the Catherine Hot Springs, two hours south of Adelaide River and we're just going to go have a ball, enjoy our day off. It's Saturday, I think the temperature is about maybe 27, 28 degrees. So it's getting a little bit cooler here in the, in the Northern Territory. So send your thoughts and prayers for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> so cold. But um, yeah, we're just uh, using a friend's car and it's really interesting seeing like driving, we're kind of driving through, I guess it's the outback. It's probably not the thick of the outback, but it definitely is like, um, it is somebody out back and I'll just give you a little glimpse here of what, what our view is. So if you were to go into any of these, um, any of the bush, you probably, you have to go in prepared I suppose because you don't know what's in there. There could be buffalo that will charge at you, could be snakes, could be anything really. Um, so yeah, you really have to be careful when you're out here. It's not like at home where you can just wander into a field if you want. It's a, it's a different world up here. But yeah, there's a few clouds in the sky. It's officially the dry season and temperatures have definitely gotten cooler. But 
we're enjoying it. The humidity has definitely dropped a lot, yeah. which is a lot easier to bear. So, a few of us, we put up a question box on our Instagram, um, asking people what they would like to ask us about our travel journey and just any questions in general that they might have. And two of the most common questions that we had were, what's your favorite thing since coming up to the Northern Ter Territory? And I suppose, for me anyway, my favorite thing about being up here, or my favorite experience was exploring Litchfield Park two weeks ago. And the Mindel sunset, like just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's such an amazing experience knowing that you're, you're doing everything you had hoped for. You're really getting to live and experience this life that you wanted for so long. Just up here, it's, it's just, it suits us down to the ground. It's just a nicer, climate um, we're not really city people but here in the in the territory it's like it's just so unique and it's so different like and it's it's those videos that you see like on, on Facebook like of what Australia is really like like you have the saltwater crocodiles in the Adelaide River that runs along where we live it's just crazy like and it really opens your eyes to wow we're actually living in Australia like you know because there was times when we lived in Melbourne that felt like oh do you know it's like yeah it's great it's really nice but it's a city and we want that adventure like that's why we came here is that adventure and to feel like we're exploring a new country but when we lived in Melbourne that felt like it just got a little bit old there's only so much you're going into the city that you can do one of my favourite things about it is um, the roads up here, this highway, so high was 130 km speed limit. People were telling us that there was one time that there was no speed limit on this road, but uh, that all changed when there was an event called the Cannonball Race, and unfortunately a man, uh, somebody lost control of the car and ended up killing two people. And so that, that was the, the sad side of it and all that but it's just it's a beautiful road to drive and just the scenery and everything so that's one of my favorite things to do up here is this it's, it's you've got those beautiful ro roads to drive up here you do need a car but then it opens the doors to true exploration of the area where you're like oh get to go here get to go there and the only one downside of it is because of that cars are a lot more expensive up here like I've seen a lot of cars there like they're going for 13 14 thousand that I've seen but you probably can get ones cheaper but seeing those prices turn me off I just want to wait a bit longer yeah and just save up to get something that would suit the outback because you're not gonna get uh, a low to the ground car like back home because any cars like that great for driving these roads but if you want to go off into kind of where the like say for example Robin, dirt roads the dirt roads robin falls like they, they are just um yeah you need something with big tires yeah not scraping off the ground because you, you'll end up getting stuck or destroying the underside of the car yeah so it would be great to get a nice um SUV or as Jennifer and uh, Jennifer calls them the city up here. City up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you need something like that over here. <laughs> Jennifer, ship us over your city up car, will you? Yeah. Good woman. My favorite experience, oh, it's, well, it's definitely between two things. It was the jumping crocodiles and Mindel Beach. Like, it's two experiences that. Well, definitely the crocs you could never experience at home. <laughs> so that was just unique on its own. And you never, you know, back home, it's not something that really crosses your mind. Like, nobody wakes up and out of the guy, I want to see a croc. But when you're over here, seeing them in front of you, was like, oh my God, like, it's one thing seeing videos, but actually seeing them as a person is just something else. And then the Mindel Beach sunset, that was incredible, like that. It was beautiful. That was beautiful, and 
as much recording as we can do with it, it does not do it any justice. No. And just everybody just gathers there, just sits on the beach and just watches it. We've been asked what our plan is for the next couple of months and honestly we don't really have a plan but at the moment for the foreseeable we're going to stay put um, we really want to hire a camper van maybe in the thick of the dry season maybe in July or something August maybe and maybe do a week long trip and just explore some of the region because there's so much to see so much to see there's a lot of places like you know that experiences that we'd love to do one thing I'd really like to, to see is the Uluru um, Ayers Rock. It's called the Red Center. Um, it's an Aboriginal sacred ground, and I think it'd be incredible to see that and get some, some nice pictures. Some of you may know that we own a drone, and at the moment the drone is not working properly, but we've shipped it off, and it should be back in the next week or so. So fingers crossed we get it back and we'll be able to get some incredible footage so you can really have that bird's eye view of some of the places that we've been seeing. So one of the funny things about living up here that we didn't actually find as much in Melbourne is the Aussies up here find our accent quite funny and we both work in the service station so basically we have to talk to a lot of Aussies every single day, take their orders for food and coffee and uh, funny story, one day this Australian guy came in and he asked her, can I get a, a ladder? And I said, uh, sorry, say that again. And he was like, can I get a ladder? And I was just like, oh yeah, I'll grab you a lighter now. So I went I went to the tobacco uh, cabinet and I grabbed him a lighter and he's like, no, can I get like a small ladder? And I was like, that's the smallest lighters that we do. And he just looked at me, he was like, no, small, small ladder. And I was like, oh, he's looking for a small latte. And it's just like, man, like, it's hard to yeah. understand the Australian accent because it's a lot thicker up here. It's um, it's a different, different parts of Australia, different regions have, like, different strengths yeah. of the Australian accent. I'm not even going to do an impression because it's going to be terrible. But, um, yeah, and someone might order something and it'll come to $33 and they're like <laughs> $33 33 and it's just like I'm actually beginning to get a complex about how I speak now <laughs> living up in the territory. <laughs> the opposite um, happened to me where a lad came in and he asked um, so to make coffees and all that and he always asked him which milk to want so he was like uh, can I get a ladder and I was like what milk do you want with that? He looked at me, he was like, I looked at him, and he was looking at me, and he was like, just, just a ladder, and I was like, yeah, but which, which milk do you, would you like with that? Uh, we've got almond milk, skinny milk, soy milk, and he was like, and thankfully his wife came in, she was like, no, he's just looking for a lighter. <laughs> and I was like, ah, so he was probably thinking like, what kind of place is this that offers milk with a lighter? <laughs> <laughs> just get out smoke and I just have this jug of milk there with him. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you end up picking up the wrong um, phrase what to say. It just has some funny moments like... Yeah. You don't realise how thick the Irish accent is until you live in a different country and how fast we speak with each other. <laughs> and so yeah, we need, we've learned to slow down a little bit when we speak so that we can be more easily understood.
Ah, oh, this is paradise, guys. So we have just arrived at Catherine Hot Springs. And guys, the water is so, oh man, it's so warm. It's so nice. It's like stepping into a hot bath. It's just beautiful. And you can see behind me, it goes all the way down here. And all around. And there's Martin up over there in the time of his life. And there's a bee on my head. I hope it doesn't sting me. Um, it's quite shallow here and you can walk easily out. <laughs> but oh man, this is just so beautiful. It's the nicest thing. Like this tops everything else. It's just so gorgeous. <laughs> Martin is the person that will not get into the water if it's too cold. No. He loves his comfort. This is so. Amazing. This is like it's just perfect temperature. Like it's not too hot, not too cold. It's just like stepping into a bath. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. 